Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Enforce Tech. This is in the convention center, the same convention center as EWA, with my buddy Timo. Timo, you are with the name uh, of your company, Furkinghoff International. We are the distributor of Mossberg shotguns, silenced steel suppressors, and a lot of more cool stuff over here. I'm telling you, I've got a lot of experience in that line of business, and so you know, if you guys need somebody who's really good at furking off, I'm, I'm your guy. Are we going to have to bleep that out? What do we have today? Shitty dad jokes aside, uh, what do we have today? Silent Steel. Correct, These are yes. suppressors that uh, you guys are distributing. Yes. Tell me all about them. So Silent Steel is a suppressor from Finland. The manufacturer just came about like two years ago. And the neat thing is, it's a flow-through suppressor, but it's milled from 100% stainless steel. It is fully disassembled. You can pretty much screw it apart. And what you will notice is, you have an inlay with like a turbine on it and a stainless steel mesh. So what happens if you pull the trigger, the expanding gases hit the turbine, it creates a torque motion. So the suppressor tightens itself automatically on, the, on your barrel. Uh, the gases expand over the turbine and through the, the channel inside, they get decelerated, cooled down and expelled in front of the suppressor, which results in a very quiet suppressor. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, you can uh, just take this one, put it in ultrasonic and clean it afterwards. Another neat thing is every single part is maintainable, which maybe the ATF in the States would go Ree! Yeah, 100%. However, the uh, um, the entire parts, uh, you can replace them, so pretty much the suppressor lasts forever. So it's user serviceable. It is user serviceable, 100%, yes. Now, what model do we have right here? What is this called and what is it? So this is the compact streamer. They are three sizes. We have the compact, the full-size streamer, and we have the micro streamer, which is the smallest model. Of course, sound suppression is the best with the full-size streamer. And as you know, um, flow-through suppressors are in a little bit inferior when it comes to sound suppression itself. However, if you have a semi-automatic semi rifle or a full automatic rifle, um, it is pretty much the best system because it doesn't increase bolt velocity. It does not um, affect reliability. However, if you have a bolt-action rifle, there's a new inlay, which is more like a traditional baffle suppressor, which you can yeah, just screw in, exchange, and you have maximum sound reduction. See, that's it. really cool, because yeah. if you have a bolt action, you don't necessarily have to worry as much about the benefits of flow through as you would with a semi-auto. Exactly, yes. And um, another cool thing is these are all, because they're made from stainless steel, they're full auto rated, they're so contested, so six magazines, full automatic, no problems. And now with this year, we are also introducing, or Silence is introducing a heavy streamer, which is specifically for machine guns, like the cool stuff we can't get over here. So, What's the caliber rating for these streamers? So you have standard 5.56, 308, 300 Win Mag, up to nine millimeter. And nine millimeter also includes like hunting rifles, like 9.3 or eight millimeter Mauser or you name it. Do you make 30 cal versions and 5.56 versions, or are you doing just a 30 cal? And I'm saying you, but I mean, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, steel. Yeah. So there are 30 cal versions um, and uh, 5.56 versions, like as you choose. And there's also the opportunity for um, different mounting options. The mounting options itself is a very neat system because you have either muzzle brakes or flash hiders. They come with like a polyurethane ring which means that the uh, suppressor itself is also me mechanically tight on your rifle. Like for, I don't know, if you're riding in a helicopter or something and it shakes all the time, some suppressors come loose. This one uh, is, again, like easy user serviceable. serviceable. That's yeah, the yeah. word, ah, yeah, here we go. And uh, yeah, you have like flash suppression or you have a muzzle brake, which is also modular. So, I mean, this is ingenuity made in Finland. Sure, and these are proprietary mounts though. So you have, if you go with the Silent Steel, if you go with the streamer, you're going to have to get the streamer mounts, correct? Uh, no, incorrect. So this is a typical uh, Aze Ultra mount. It's like M27 by 1.5, I think. So it's a quick thread system. And uh, you can find these pretty much off the shelf. How much do these cost? So they are on the expensive side. 
Uh, I think like MSRP is like between 600, 700 bucks. Depending on the version, it goes up to 800. However, it is full stainless steel. The suppressor is fully serviceable, which means it lasts forever. It is Cerakote, one piece. It's full auto rated, and it's also in the hands of professionals and law enforcement already. So if you drop money on a suppressor, why not drop it on a good one? Sure, I get that. And it's funny you say that because six, seven hundred, I think of that as being inexpensive in the United States. Yeah, like a six hundred and fifty dollars for a B and T can, for example, is like to me, that's a, a bargain in the United States. Talk to me about the legality of suppressors in Europe. So this is a good thing here in Europe. Usually suppressors are off-the-shelf items, which means I can walk into the store and just buy a suppressor. In Germany, we have no to, background check. No, because I mean it's, a, it's just a can. It's just a can. Actually, it's very polite to use one at the shooting range because it um, protects your hearing. And if you're hunting, you have the dogs, which also protects their hearing. Um, all the German government asked within 14 days, you have to just give them a note. Hey, I bought this. So they put a serial. <laughs> yeah. So they, they put the serial. So you number. just send them a note. You just send them a little post-it note, stuff in an envelope. Yeah, with a receipt. So they want to see the serial number. They put it into your... Um, into your permit card, and uh, that's pretty much it. But you're not limited to what suppressors you buy and how many. Um, and yeah, so therefore, a lot of people here in Europe, they purchase rather cheap suppressors because if you break, they just toss them in the trash and just buy another one. That is so messed up. That is so, and you know what else is messed up, Timo, is that you didn't bring me my annual beer. I'm catching up on that one. So visit me at IWA, and we're going to make it happen. like fresh bread after seven or eight days. Oh, Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Enforce Tech and IWA.